Let me paint you a picture. Your counters are covered. The living room has piles of stuff you barely remember owning, and somehow every closet is a black hole. Sound familiar? I've been there, and I bet you have too. But here's the good news. You can tackle this, and you've got options. Today, we're gonna dive into two of the biggest names in decluttering, Marie Kondo and Dana K. White, and breaking down their approaches so that you can decide which one will work best for you. Whoa. Marie Kondo's KonMari method is all about sparking joy, a complete life reset. Dana K. White's style is more like declutter as you go. It's a process that fits right into your busy life. Both have helped thousands reclaim their homes and their sanity. So which one is right for you? Let's find out. All right, let's start at the beginning. Marie Kondo's first step is to hold the item and think to yourself, does this spark joy? If it sparks joy, you keep the item. It's part of your life that you wanna welcome back in. If it doesn't, then you thank the item and then you let it go. Think of it like emotional spring cleaning. For some, this is a profound mind shift. Dana K. White takes a much more practical approach. She says, forget the emotional roller coaster of Marie Kondo and let's just grab a trash bag. And we're just gonna go around and pick up the obvious trash. No stress, no emotions, just getting it done fast. I remember a day walking into my closet looking for a black pair of high heels and not being able to find them for like five minutes. So I grabbed a trash bag and I just got busy. I went to town and let me tell you, there were shoes in my closet that I had not even put on my feet for more than 10 years. But the one pair of shoes I was looking for had gotten thrown all the way or probably kicked all the way to the back. That was a life shattering moment for me because I realized that the things that I need and want to use they're hidden by all of this other stuff that's always getting in the way. And if you are ready to get started, I'll drop a link for a decluttering challenge that my community did a while back that was so much fun. So no matter whether you're Team Spark Joy or Team Trash Bag, either one will work. So grab it now and take that first step today. Now let's talk about maintenance. With Marie Kondo's method, you are gonna be decluttering by category and not by room. So clothes, books, papers, all in one big swoop. It is intense, but when you're done, you're done. It's like hitting a reset on your entire home and even your life. But life doesn't always give us a full weekend or a month or months to overhaul our space. That is where Dana K. White really shines. She says start where you're gonna see a difference. So clear off a countertop, work on that pile of laundry, do what needs to be done, and remember, progress, only progress. Think of Marie Kondo's method as training for a marathon. You plan, you prep, and on race day, once you cross that finish line, you're done and you've had a major accomplishment. But Dana K. White's approach is more like sprints. We take short bursts of energy and we're always moving forward. There are lots of wins all along the way. Let's dive deeper into the emotional side of cleaning. Marie Kondo's famous sparking joy has us question on a much deeper level about things and if they need to stay. So with her method, you're not just cleaning, you're deciding on what is worthy of being in your life. But what if you're stuck holding on to something out of guilt and not joy? That's where Dana K. White fits in. Dana K. White doesn't make you wrestle with those things. She actually tries to cut through the noise and help you get to the core. If it doesn't work for you and it's in the way, then it's gotta go. No overthinking. I once held on to this dress for years. It was a size four and I just thought I'm going to get in it one day. Beautiful dress. Spoiler alert, I never did. Dana's method helped me realize that if it's not serving me, then I need to let it go. And to be honest, it was a relief. This isn't all about aesthetics. Let's talk about what clutter does to your health. 
Studies show that clutter actually raises your cortisol. That's your stress hormone. So when UCLA talked to women and said, how do they feel about their homes? The women who said their homes were cluttered actually had increased and much higher cortisol levels throughout the day, which leads to other health issues like diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety, and depression. So what you have surrounding you actually does impact how you feel inside and out. So on top of all of that, it can also affect your sleep. Research also shows that people who decluttered their bedrooms slept more soundly and woke up more refreshed. So whether you're decluttering Marie Kondo's way or Dana K. White's way, bottom line is you're not just cleaning your space. You're actually improving your mental and your physical health. So here's the million dollar question. Does it last? Can these methods stand the test of time? So let's look at Marie Kondo's approach first. While many, many of the families from tidying up saw dramatic changes, some actually admitted that they struggled to keep the results. Life happens and sustaining those habits can be tough, especially if the system feels too rigid. On the other hand, Dana K. White's method seems to be built for the long haul. Her followers report that because her system is built on small, repeatable habits, it's much easier to stick with. Her focus is progress and only progress, which means that you're never behind and you're always moving forward. Both methods have long-term potential, but the truth is that it comes down to which one is really going to relate best to you and your situation. The goal is to find a plan that works, and that means something that works for you. So if you're someone that just loves a big reset, then Marie Kondo may be the one that'll offer you the lasting transformation. But if you're looking for a method that is flexible and it fits into everyday life, then Dana K. White may be your secret weapon. Whether you're drawn to Marie Kondo's life-altering magic or Dana K. White's more practical, real-time solutions, the key is taking action. And remember, it's not about perfection. It's about making your home work for you. And if you want even more tips from some of the top leading YouTubers on decluttering, check out this video because it is packed full where I dive into their best advice on how to get clutter free. And I'm going to also link that checklist in the description below so that you can get started today. So you guys, if you are new here, I do something that most people don't do. The best thing that I can possibly do for you is to just pray over you and your situation. So I'm not trying to convert anybody. I just want to send good vibes your way. And so let's do that. Father God in heaven, I praise your name and I thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Father God, I pray that whoever needs to hear some motivation, some uplift, just needs to be loved on today, that you would make this video pop up for them so that they can know that you are always loving on them, even when it feels like you're far away. Father God, I know in my own life, I hit rock bottom and I felt very ashamed, very alone, and just overwhelmed and not knowing where to even start. So Father, I just pray that you delivered me out of some of that darkness and that in some way that this can be a way to get someone else out as well. Father God, take this video and send it to the people that truly, truly are ready to hear how they can get out of this pit. Father God, I just pray that it would be encouraging and motivating and loving all at once and that we would never, ever, ever be seen as judgmental or preachy. Father God, I praise you for how you've changed my life and for the things that I know that I've yet to even overcome, I know that you are already fighting those battles for me. Right now, Father God, I just pray that you would send out your angels through these airways into those homes so that they can stand guard and, and fight against any darkness that tries to come in and tell my lovely, lovely people that they can't do this because, Father God, we can do all things through Christ who delivers us. So we are leaning on you to give us the strength to battle the clutter and batter, battle the overwhelm and just have the energy, the patience to go through and do the job, even if it's one item at a time. 
Father God, I love you, and I'm so very thankful and grateful for this day and for this opportunity to meet new friends. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, you guys, so before you go, remember this video is all about the best tips I could find on YouTube that helps you get started on decluttering. And I've got a free resource in the description that's just a little checklist. If you could just do that every day, that'll help keep the clutter out once you get some things cleared off. All right, I love you so much. Bye.